Welcome back to Understanding Combat Sports Performance. And today, I wanna to leave you guys with a little tip when it comes to laying out your work week. And that is, not every practice you have has to be a 10 out of 10 physical intensity. Now, I know that's hard for combat athletes to hear because we're so focused on grinding. We're a grinder culture that typically has success when we just keep pushing forward. But I would like to say there's something different between physical intent and mental intent. And we need to know when to give one, the other, or both if we wanna go from good to great. Now, mental intent is I'm there presently, I'm learning, I'm actively engaged, but that doesn't always have to be correlated with physical intent or revving your engine to 100% every time you step on a mat. The greats are the one that can distinguish a mental intent practice from a physical intent practice, and they're able to recover in between sessions and get more out of their weeks. So that quick tip, don't go 10 out of 10 every single practice and try to be more focused on giving the right intent when it comes to your practices. If you wanna learn more about intents and how to get better at choosing which intent to give, hit us up at Building a Fighter on Instagram, at Building a Fighter on YouTube, or at buildingafighter.com, and we are happy to help.